Yo, what is up guys, Pumpkins here, and today I am back with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks video, and today what we're going to be doing is the fourth and final episode of my series, Hardpoint Sit Spots. We're finally going to be doing the map retreat. Now, I've had a really fun time making this series for you guys. I hope that you all have been learning a lot, uh, a lot about Hardpoint and the game as a whole. So I'm really excited to finish up this series. Now, guys, at any point during the video you find yourself enjoying what I have to say, be sure to smash that like button let me know that you enjoyed it. It'd be much appreciated and would let me know that my hard work has not gone unnoticed. So guys, I hope you all enjoy and without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, now by now, I think you all know the drill. I have to go very quickly through all the hard point sit spots. So if at any point during the video, you find yourself kind of lost and you think I'm going a little bit too fast, just rewind and go to an earlier part of the video. Now for this first hill, there are a lot of good spots. Now the first one I'm going to show you will be behind all of these pots right here, uh, usually called pottery by most of the players. Uh, you can lay behind here. The pots also block a lot of damage. Uh, I like to sometimes take advantage of these red walls that line the hard point. You can lay down behind there for some cover. Or you can lay down in the uh, doorways of towels. You can use both of the doorways, and uh, you can be hidden from a couple of uh, um, a couple of good areas in this little place. You can also use this lamp if you want. It's kind of just a silly spot added in there. Now, guys, not in the hard point. I like to use this spot right here to watch towels get up on here, and it can give you a nice advantage when trying to defend towels if you're not in the hard point. Moving on to the second hard point, you got to use the rocks that are lying around in this hill. Oh, you're not going to have a lot of cover when you're laying in here, so uh, try and take advantage of these rocks will help you a lot more in the long run. And uh, the only advice I have is to keep switching up your spot. If you kill someone, move around. If someone contests the hill, try running around this, the turtle instead of waiting for them. You know, don't wait for them. Bring the fight to them. It, I think it will make you um, a lot better when it comes to reaction time if you're looking for the person and will also help you kind of keep it, change it up, and uh, it'll be harder for the enemies to know where you're coming from or where you're lying down. Now moving on to the third hard point, uh, we're going to use kind of the same technique as that second one and keep moving around, but one thing you can take advantage of are the desks. Now as you can see right here, the green desk has a nice little, uh, I don't really know what you call it, a nice little divider where you can lay behind and you cannot be seen from the other side of the desk, so you do have protection from one of the doors. Now for the rest of the desk, just kind of keep moving around. If you get a kill with the front desk, maybe move to the back. If you get a kill in the back, move back to the front and keep changing it up so the enemies will not know where to look um, when they run into the hard point. Just keep them guessing and it will help you you out in the long run now moving on to the fourth hard point we can take advantage of these outside tables right here that I'm laying down behind uh, these concrete tables are great for blocking a lot of bullet damage and can give you a lot of cover when you're laying down waiting for waiting, waiting for people to come in now uh, if you're inside the hard point use these doors to block most of your body or if you want you can kind of use this outskirt and uh, you know kind of head glitch the side of the walls uh, you can also sit on top of these doorways although you will not be in the hard point but it can be a great spot to kill people while they're entering the hill as long as you have a teammate that's getting all of that good hill time uh, other than that like I said keep moving around and then make sure the enemy stays guessing on where you're gonna be now on this last hill uh, there's really no cover in this hill so I recommend laying down and watching one of these doorways and have your teammate preferably on the ground level watch the other doorway or if you have an AR you can look out the back like I was just doing or if you want to kind of stay passive and stay in the hill you can lay down and watch the areas with a sub I recommend waiting for the enemy to come to you on this hill instead of challenging them because if you go to challenge them they will be ready for it but if they're coming to you they will not be ready for it guys that's gonna be it for today's video like I said it went very quickly through those spots so if you missed one or you and kind of weren't paying attention just rewind and go to an earlier part of the video but guys hope you all enjoyed the video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you did hope you guys have a great day and i will see you all in the next video